Welcome to CodeWord YouTube channel. Today we are going to explore weather API and method to fetch data using JavaScript. First, create an account on Open Weather Map website to get API key. After creation of your account login and click on the profile or login button, go to API section. You can create your new API key and give name as well. Also, you can edit your API name by clicking on Edit icon. Now copy the API key and paste it on the new tab of your browser. Click on Guide button and scroll down to get our API call URL to get API data. Paste URL to the browser tab we created just before the API key. Remove the API key text from the URL and hit enter button. Now we get all the forecast data. Look the city name Moscow and city ID. This city ID is exactly same in the URL of the API. As you are watching, there are too much information we got from API. To get only weather data, just remove forecast from the URL and replace with weather and hit enter. Now we get all the weather data of Moscow. City ID is 524901. Also, one more important thing, look the temperature, which is in Kelvin instead of Celsius. To get all the data in Celsius, we need to add and units equals metric after the API key in the URL. All the information we got is by using city ID. What if we don't know city ID of your city, then how we search for the weather data? To do so, we need changes in the URL. Remove ID and replace it with Q equals Delhi or your preferred city name. Now we got all the weather data of Delhi, India. We got city ID. Your question should be, can we get data by using city ID? The answer is yes. Just replace Q equals Delhi with ID equals 1273294. After this, we get the same data as before. For our ease, we preferred fetching data using city name instead of city ID because user can't remember city ID for every city to get weather data. Copy this URL and let's got to the VS code to implement API in our web page. Go to HTML file and open web page with live server. After this, right click on the mouse and click to the inspect, then go to console. We are getting an error file not found because we haven't linked our script file in the HTML. Open script file create a variable API using cons keyword. We'll use template literal using backtick symbol. Access API variable using console.log. To verify the data, go to the browser where we open our page. The main reason we use template literals is to put the data dynamically to the URL. Create a new variable named API key, then remove the API key from the API variable and paste it in new variable API key like a string. To send API key variable data, we use dollar symbol and curly bracket. Type your variable name inside the curly bracket. Create another variable city 
and send data into the API variable as we did earlier using dollar symbol and curly bracket. To fetching API, we will use fetch method. Follow this step carefully to fetch your API as well. After fetch URL type dot, then in create a arrow function with one parameter response. This will return promise. Go to the console. We got promise in console under the open object. This is our data. After this, we again write dot then, and this time create a arrow function with data parameter. This data keyword is used to access all the data of the API. In console, we got all the weather data. Under the main, we got temperature, pressure, humidity, and some other information. One more key point to note, we don't need curly bracket if we have one value to return an arrow function, but we have multiple value to return, so we use curly bracket. To get temperature, we need to write data.main.temp. Also, we can create variable for the each data and store the value just like we are doing right now. Many of you might face some challenges to access the weather data because all data stored in array we have ID main description icon and weather data. To access all the data, type data, dot weather square bracket and enter zero index number dot main to check weather data. Now we got the data similarly, we can access all the data inside the weather section using same method. Under the weather, we have icon, which has some value. Using same method, we access icon as well. But question is, how to access the icon using this value? To do so, open new tab on the browser and search for the weather map icon URL. Click on the first website and scroll down a little bit. Now we get the URL for the image generation Simply copy this URL and paste into the Another tab. We got the icon image in the browser. In the URL, look for the 2x. It represents the scaling of the image. I am trying to change scaling up to 4x. Yes, it works. What if we change to 1x? Oh no, this seems like 2x is default. Let's change to 2x. Copy the URL and go to the script file. Create a new variable icon URL and store the link using template literals as we did for API variable. Simply remove the icon code form URL and write dollar sign curly bracket and type the variable named icon. Then create a variable icon and store the value inside it.
Go to the console to verify icon URL is working or not. This is perfectly working now. Let's understand how to show the data in our web page. Inside HTML file, create a div element with ID data. Copy this ID name. Move to the script file. First, we have to import the element. Watch carefully to import element by using ID. Go to the data section of API fetching. Use variable name of the element having ID data. In this case, data.innerHTML equals temp. It means we want temperature to be visible on our web page. This is not working, so try to remove CSS, but still not worked. I thought I haven't saved my files, so I tried to save files and check for worked or not. After several tries, I found the why it is not working because look, the variable name data, it has already taken word inside fetch method. So I changed my variable name to page data. And this time it worked without any problem. Similarly, we can show our icon image inside the web page. Go to HTML file and create a new image element. Give ID name to the image element, IMG. Remove SRC because we will send source using JavaScript. First import the image element using ID.img. Use variable name img.src and pass the icon URL variable. Now we have temperature and icon of the weather on our web page. We have variable name city so we can change the location and it will dynamically insert it into our URL. One major thing, always use functions to make our code reusable. So create a function named API fetching and paste the copied text inside the function. Don't forget to call the function, otherwise it'll not work. Thanks for watching.